Hello everybody and welcome to our Sunday morning prayer and today we are going to be celebrating Epiphany, the day we celebrate the wise men finally reaching the place where Jesus, the child, is staying, where they come to worship him. So with that um, burning light in the background as the star to show the way, let's begin our service. Let us worship God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, direct our thoughts and teach us to pray. Lift up our hearts to worship you in spirit and in truth. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. God of love, passionate and strong, tender and careful, watch over us and hold us all the days of our life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So we come to a time of confession now, where we can bring to God all those things this week that we wish we had not done or not said. And we can ask for forgiveness and receive a clean start. Come, let us return to the Lord and say, Lord our God, in our sin we have avoided your call. Our love for you is like a morning cloud, like the dew that goes away early. Have mercy on us, deliver us from judgment, bind up our wounds and revive us. In Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And as a sign of forgiveness and a clean start that God gives, put the stone into the water. May the God of love bring us back to himself, forgive us our sins and assure us of his eternal love. In Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And our reading today is from Matthew chapter 2. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed and all Jerusalem with him. When he had called together all the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them where the Messiah was to be born. In Bethlehem, in Judea, they replied, for this is what the prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me, so that I too may go and worship him. After they had heard the king, they went on their way, and the star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. Curiosity is a powerful thing. The urge to find out more can lead us in all sorts of directions. Curiosity makes us ask questions and search for answers. Curiosity leads us forward into the unknown. Sometimes this is risky. We are told, after all, that curiosity killed the cat. But curiosity is also exciting. We follow the feeling that there is more to know. 
there is more to see. There is more than what we have in front of us right now. Curiosity is about opening new doors, exploring new territory and reaching out beyond ourselves. It's no wonder that as we speak, there is a mechanical rover on Mars named Curiosity, put there by NASA roughly 10 years ago to explore the red planet, monitoring and sending reports about the environment there and furthering our scientific knowledge. And even as we explore that distant planet, we are reminded today of another heavenly body that sparked the curiosity of those on Earth. The star that inspired wise men from distant lands to set off on an unknown road to an unknown place to find out more. The wise men of our story are not insiders. They are not of the Jewish faith, not of God's chosen people. They are probably Zoroastrian priests who were famous for their work in astrology. But even as outsiders, they make a connection between the astrology of their own religion and something mysterious and unexplainable linked to the Jewish religion that compels them to find out more. They notice that something is out of the ordinary in the skies above them, something that pulls them, something their knowledge cannot explain, something they can't ignore. These wise men are challenged by the star. Curiosity calls them on. They take a risk, they set off, they begin a journey. Their journey is not all plain sailing. At one point, the star leads the wise men into contact with the volatile and vindictive King Herod, who is more terrified than curious about the knowledge they are seeking. But curiosity keeps pulling the wise men forward, and soon after their meeting with the king, overwhelmed with joy, they finally reach their destination and worship the child heralded by the unusual star. You would think that this was a fitting end to the story of the wise men. Their curiosity has finally been satisfied. New knowledge has been gained. But that is not the case. Their story is not over. As these outsiders, these strangers, have journeyed closer to the stable, the God of the Jewish people has journeyed closer to them and warns them in a dream not to return to Herod. One question has been answered, but another part of the journey has unexpectedly begun. The wise men travel home by a different route to the one they came by. Curiosity has inspired them and also changed them too. Curiosity is a powerful thing. Asking questions can be life-changing and life-giving. Taking the risk and setting off to find answers might not always be easy, but there are unexpected and inspiring rewards to be found. We all have questions, but we don't always have the courage to ask them. As we remember today the story of the wise men following the star, let's follow their curiosity and their courage. What are you looking for? What questions do you have about life? about God? Where are you on your own journey to discovering Jesus? Write your questions down and set off this Christmas time to open some doors and find some answers. Take a risk and talk to someone. Take a risk and talk to God. Wherever you are on your journey, step out to discover more and may you find the overwhelming, life-changing joy of the wise men as you make the discoveries you seek. Amen. So our prayers today are going to be slightly different because we are, of course, celebrating the Epiphany and a traditional thing that happens um, in Europe, especially in places like Germany, and that we've been doing as a church over the past few years is chalking a blessing on the door of our church and our homes. And this is a reminder of um, the wise men visiting the home where Jesus is. So our prayers are going to be um, linked to the wise men. And then I'm gonna talk you through the chalking on the door that you can do 
in your own time at your own house. So we're going to need a few candles for this. I will grab some candles. Okie dokie. So here we go. So if you have the words that you've managed to print off, that's brilliant. And if you haven't, do not matter. It doesn't matter. And if you want to respond, um, hear our prayer when you hear Lord in your mercy. The Lord is here. God's spirit is with us. As the three wise travellers brought gifts for the infant Jesus, so we pray for gifts to our homes today and every day. We pray for all who make decisions in our world, for all the decisions that we have to make. As gold showed the kingship of Jesus, May we receive the gift of making right choices in our lives. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for this congregation that we may grow in holiness and bring others to know Jesus. As frankincense showed that Jesus is God, may we receive the gift of showing others our faith in Jesus. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our world and all its needs, for places of war and violence, for those known to us who are in need. As Myr foretold the death of Jesus, may we live as people who believe in his resurrection. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. So at this point, we would get together um, a whole load of chalk to bless. And so I'm going to put some chalk here as a sign of that chalk that we would bless. God who leads your people through the journey of life as you led Caspar, Melchior and Balthazar, the traditional names of the wise men, to worship Jesus, so lead us to be fearless in making Jesus known in our homes and in our lives. Bless this chalk that those who see the blessing on our homes may know that our doorways of places of welcome and blessing and that you are the God who blesses us every day. We ask this in the name of Jesus, born of Mary, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. So now at this point we would go and chalk on the door our, um, our blessing which takes the form of the year 2021 split in half and in the middle of the year the initials C, M and B separated by crosses. C, M and B standing for the initials of the traditional names of the wise men, Caspar, Melchior and Balthazar, but also um, the letters abbreviated for the um, uh, a Latin blessing of the house so um, you can take it either way you want to so here's a little video of me doing this on my house so that you know what to do and then we'll come back and we will read together the prayer to be prayed when you have done your blessing
as we remember the visit of the wise men to the home of Jesus, God, please bless our home this year. Protect each person who lives and stays here and may each of us know your hope, peace, joy and love. Amen. And so for all of you, may the peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. We join together in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessing, honour and glory be yours, here and everywhere, now and forever. Amen. So go in peace to love and serve the Lord, in the name of Christ. Amen.